What's good? It's me, Nick, episode 117 of the Cookup series. And today, per the request of Young Frosty, we're going to be making a Juice World type beat. To give me an example, like this old song, like we don't get along, like this snippet. Um, just some shit like that. So I listened to that real quick. Sounds just, you know, like some classic, just like Juice World, like very like punk inspired, emo inspired, like uh, with guitars and that kind of music. And for me, like my favorite band of that time was always Green Day. I fuck with Green Day even to this day, super hard. Like this simple like guitar type beat today. I'm gonna be thinking like Green Day, like some really simple, really simple at the end, just like a couple guitar chords, but we're gonna be doing it on the virtual guitar. And then we're gonna like, work off of those and then make it a bit more complicated but at the core of it we want to make this beat really just like three or four really simple chords cook series episode 117 comment like subscribe let me know what you think of the beat at the end of this and let me know what kind of beat you're trying to see in the future i know we got a few ideas shout out my boy uh, uh shadow beats shadow beats he wants that uh 21 savage metro boomin type beat so if anyone else is trying to see that beat too comment below say hell yeah shout out shadow beats i want that beat too and uh, we'll try to get that one going so appreciate y'all let's make this beat so I'm gonna set this to like 166 BPM. Let's grab a scale, we'll grow natural minor. Honestly, let's just pull up FL keys real quick and write three simple chords, and we'll translate that onto the guitar. So I've talked about this like many times in the past with like that Electo Beats um, Cash Gang video about like writing chords and stuff. So we're gonna be thinking about this uh, like tonic, subtonic, Dominant or tonic, subdominant, dominant. We're gonna keep those in mind when running our chords. So we'll start out, start out our chord progression. Let's even try something different. Let's try to start out in something that's not even like with the one. Let's start out at a different tonic. So it says that the six is a tonic. So let's start on the six. So we're using our scale degrees. So we know C is our one. So one, two, three, four, five, six. That's boom, boom. And let's see how like the one sounds there. Let's try if we then mess around with some of the octaves that it's going to sound good. So an interesting little progression, but it has some good like emotion and like it moves. So let's take that and bring it to the ample guitar and kind of make that into something that works on the guitar. We might have to like change the, um, we have to transpose a little bit just to make the strings work and stuff and like, but uh, we're gonna transpose on here and make this progression work on the guitar. We took that original chord progression that we had, it was a little too busy, too many changes. We kind of like simplified some of the stuff, had some more like long lingering chords at the end, and then we also just took everything and made it, we didn't like strum it, but like we made like a custom like sort of like plucking style, like just basically just strumming it. And then we 
all its R randomized, so like the velocities were all different, and it kind of sounds a lot, whole lot better. We also took it up, and we did capo five, so that means we went up five semitones. So it looks like it's this MIDI, but really it says if we transpose it up five. So every so we're gonna to have to go back in here actually and grab this sampler and go one, two, three, four, five. So it doesn't really match up anymore, but those are actually like the notes that we're on. Our effect chain on this guitar. That a lot better now. Let's grab another amp guitar and let's put this one on. We're gonna hit this D zero, so it's palm muted now, and we're gonna pretty much just do that chord progression. We're gonna find some kind of cool way to palm mute it and um, make that some accenting thing. And then since we got the guitar rig five demo on there, we only have a half hour for that, so we'll write maybe one or two other guitar pieces to go with this, and then we'll balance all that out and then finish the rest of the beat. So we just bounced all three of our guitar parts out. We brought it to, from 166 to 160 BPM, so slightly brought the pitch of it down. And yeah, we got our three parts here all bounced out. I think it sounds really, really good. We're gonna keep um, a little bit of something in here. We'll keep like some of one of these. We'll just keep a. We're gonna delete a whole bunch of this shit because we don't need it because we got it all bounced out. But then we'll leave just like that main. <clears throat> this main thing right here. But then we'll go. One, two, three, four, five. So that is our notes for our 808 and stuff. And yeah, let's throw on these drums. It's gonna be a, a fun little uh, Juice World guitar type beat.
bounced in there. It really just kept it simple on, like, the 808s. Mostly just followed, like, the root notes and stuff. Had the kicks pretty much hit on all the 808s. Had the Audi 808, the Barry kick, a couple of classics from Nick Mira. We'll have, like, the chorus. We'll start out with, like, just the 808, and then we'll have, like, the kick in the second half, that type of that type of vibe. And then um, on our master, let's throw on our soft clipper. Threshold 16.7, post gain 92%. That's just what I like to do. And then we'll, uh, we'll just level that out real quick. Then we'll range down. That's going to be our beat for the day. our beat right there that is a juice world like old school like juice world punk emo inspired um like guitar type beat using ample guitar no real guitar just ample guitar yeah i think it turned out pretty damn good man turned to a banger just got some emotion in the guitar you know we started out with that chord progression made sure we had like an emotional chord progression and then from there just kind of you know made it a bit more funky added a bit more layers to it like made it instead of just straight plucking you know made it a straight straight strumming just like made it some like more interesting stuff with the chord progression so yeah started from something very simple turned into some kind of something pretty damn dope so appreciate y'all it's busy nick episode 117 of the cookup series comment like subscribe let me know what kind of videos you're trying to see in the future yeah let me know how i did today so appreciate y'all thank you for watching i'm out of here here's the final beat peace